the Rikishi Fatu Off the Top Podcast. Let's go. Rikishi Fatu, all y'all ready? We the ones, it's 2024. Keep it locked on the Rikishi Fatu Podcast. Off the top. We gon' talk about everything. Everything wrestling, everything hip-hop. Keep it locked. It's time to smarten up. All right, I'd like to welcome everyone to a new year. It is 2024, and of course, you know that now I have a new podcast that's out, and it's Rikishi Fatu Off the Top Podcast, where everything we're going to talk about, professional wrestling, things that's happening on the hip-hop world. You know, I love hip-hop music, and possibly, you know, dive into a little bit of the family. But let me go ahead and take you back here. Let's talk about some things that's... uh, you know, been uh, having the wrestling world in 2023 uh, go crazy. And so, uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and just, you know, talk about, you know, the rivalry of the year. All right. Uh, so this is what they posted up on there. It wasn't me. It was WWE on, on Fox on Instagram. Rivalry of the year. And uh, they had uh, Sammy which is Sami Zayn, of course, versus Roman. Yeah, I know that guy. And then you have the bloodline, the Civil War. Okay, I obviously know all of them. And then you had Ray versus Dom. And then they went into Brock versus Cody. Now, you know what? Um, You know, it seems to me like, you know, all the rivalries right there you know, I'd have to say for me, uh, you know, family versus family always is always drama, right? And uh, not 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 to say that you know the one with Sammy and Roman was not a good one, you know, but um, you know, family versus family, there's always that drama. Like, you know, a lot of people, you know, when you see, you know, you can relate, you know. Family, you know, sometimes, you know, have they drama at home and and so forth. But, you know, for me, what I know with these boys, you know, they've uh, they've been raised up together. I'm talking about, you know, Jimmy, Jay, and Roman. You know, now Solo's a girl. Of course, Solo was a, a young baby back in the day. But, you know, from the living room back in the day, there was always drama. You know, and, and then when you see it come on, on TV... You know, sometimes uh, I'm sure you fans are like, you don't know what I know as far as what's been happening back in the day of them growing up, but I'm here to tell you. You know, uh, sometimes I wonder myself, are they really going at it out there when you see the bloodline going at it? Because, you know, being a professional wrestler, I can see when people pulling punches, but I can also see too sometimes when, you know, it's, you know, it's like, uh Take this. This is receipt from whatever. Back in the day when you punched me in the mouth. Well, now I'm going to punch you in the mouth, but the difference is it's going to be on live TV where the whole world can see. And so, you know, I, I, I'd i have to, if I'm going to pick any, any, you know, four of that rivalry, uh, it's a close call too, you know, between the bloodline and, uh, you know, the father and son. I'm talking about Ray Mysterio and Dom, right? You, you, got, a, you got a young son that's, you know, uh, disrespecting the pops on, on TV and stuff. And, you know, and, and it's, always good, it's always good for a storyline. You know, I mean, and at, at the end of the day, it's like, you know, how, how many times you get the grace to ring with your father? You know, and just... Because I'm sure if it was me with my boy, I'd probably be in there just whooping his ass, testing his skills. Just to see if the old man could still get it. And, and hey, you know, for Ray Mysterio, he still got it. You know? And it's such a great thing to be able to see a father and son uh, grace the ring. So, but my my pick for the rivalry of the year, it would have to be I'd have to go with the bloodline. And the reason I say this is not because they're, 
you know, their family members and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, we got this saying as asses and seats. And, uh, you know, this bloodline's been, what, holding it down for three years. Man, I'm not making this up. You can do the research and go on WWE Network, go check out their, you know, all the the views and stuff like that. Go go look at that chart. You know, go look at that chart. And so if they're that bringing in that much ratings and views and so forth, doesn't it make sense to leave the bloodline where it needs to be? So, you know, big shout out to, to the family. You know, I don't get to see them that much. Uh, we do talk on the phone, on Facebook, and and uh, I mean, not Facebook, FaceTime, FaceTime. You know, and uh, we kind of, you know, you know, keep in contact that way. And it's sometimes about wrestling, but most of the time it's about, you know, taking care of yourself on the road. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you kids doing? That's what father's supposed to do, right? And so, you know, uh, you know, just to uh, tap on that is like uh, the relationship is good. I'm very proud of the bloodline doing what they're doing. So, you know, I do want to tap on this, man. Um, there's so many others. Uh, there was a breakout star of the year. And, and I'm not making this. I'm quoting this. That's from WWE on Fox. Breakout star of the year. L.A. Knight, Dirty Dom, Solo Sokoa, and Eo Sky. Okay, I'm I'm sorry, honey, but I don't know who that is. Um, hey, breakout star of the year. You know, I just met this guy L.A. Knight uh, when I was in. Uh, I stopped by the the show when he came here to Los Angeles and uh, nobody knew I was going to show up. But, you know, uh, that, well, excuse me, if you hear the planes going over, that's, uh, we're out here in Van Nuys, California, shooting this. And uh, But anyhow, uh, yeah, so uh, they came to the forum uh, the 30th of uh, December of 2023. Uh, and I came through, nobody knew I was coming through and uh, I, I I stopped by to come see some of my old friends and, um, of course, my kids. You know, all three of them were there. And I, I ran into L.A. Knight the first time. Never met the guy. But, honestly, I was a fan of his just to see him do his thing on, on uh, you know, on television. And I'll tell you why I like this guy here. Because, you know, when you're watching professional wrestling, you know, you're always looking for that. For me, I'm always looking for that new breakout star. And I knew this guy, he's got a good body. You know, he's got a good, you know, good good skills on the mic. But there was just something missing, you know. And uh, once he got involved, uh, again, w with the bloodline. And, you know, I'm only going to speak the truth when I'm... I'm, I'm you know, talking about things like this. You know, once he uh, got up to the bloodline, now he was on another level. He was already like a fan favorite, obviously with the spill and yeah, that stuff, right? And it worked for the crowd. Fan engagement, you know, people like that when, you know, wrestlers engage with the fans and you, you let them be a part of your, of your gimmick or your, your character. And so to put him up against a big superstar, uh, somebody like Roman and the Bloodlines and be mixed in that, it just really helped him excel to the next level. And so uh, it was a pleasure meeting this guy, and I really liked him. I liked him before I even met him. But for me to pick out the breakout star of the year, once again, I, I got to say, one of the family members, Solo Sokol. And I don't say this because of he's my son. 
I say this because of and a business tip, the impact that this kid has done soon as he first made his first appearance into the WWE. He's been an impact since. And it was uh, uh, a happy moment, not only for myself, the family, and uh, also his family as well. You know, my grandkids, uh, <laughs> I love it when, uh, when I see my grandkids and we're watching their father on TV that, you know, they're just wrestling each other. You, you know, as two boys and so forth, and kind of remind me when my, my boys were young, you know, the twins and solo back in the day. But you know, he uh, he brought a uh, uh, he brought a lot to the stage, man. You know, he became one of the top heels there in the in the WWE, and you know, I can only pray for him to continue the health and success and be able to take care of himself. You know, and that the Dirty Dom, I think he has a hell of a career in front of him. He definitely has a good teacher. Uh, his father, the legend. Uh, the Hall of Famer himself, uh, Ray Mysterio, and so this second generation—it's—it's, it's, uh, you know, people wonder, like, you know, why did these second generations come out and they're the way they are as far as in the wrestling business, you know? Well, you know, it's not really, you know, it's not really easy for them, you know, when you have uh, fathers or family members in the business before they they decide to come into the business. You know, they got a lot of shoes to fill. So it ain't like what people think. They just, oh, because your pops or your your uncles uh, been in there, so it's easy for them to open the door for you to get in. And so the fact is this, that once you have family members that are in there, you got to work as hard, if not harder. And so, you know, that's my take uh, as far as, you know, my pick for this episode here. So I want y'all to make sure you follow the Rikishi Fatu Off the Top podcast. Make sure you subscribe, like all the social media that's out there. And you know what? I'm going to just uh, just bring it to you raw, man. We're just going to talk. We're just going to have a good time. And in the meantime, remember this. It's free to be kind to one another. And I'm out. You want to bring awareness to your business? All you got to do is hit the link below, and then guess what? Rikishi Fat 2 Off the Top Podcast will be promoting you. It's time to smarten up. It's time to say things that people are scared to say. It's time to bring you on into my home so you know what time it is. In the locker room, in the hip-hop world, in the wrestling world. You might even come into my kitchen.